This is the Unicore iMini launch monitor. And we're gonna put it to the test today and give you a full review versus TrackMan. Now, Unicore iMini looks very similar to the GC Quad. The GC Quad is a camera-based launch monitor. So is the Unicore. GC Quad has four cameras. Quad, four camera-based system. Unicore has two. GC Quad, currently at the time of shooting this video, is retailing for about $14,500. Right now, Unicore, 3,500. TrackMan indoor outdoor device, $25,000. Can a $3,500 unit stack up? Now with the iMini, same with GC Quad, to get accurate club data, you're going to need to put one of their fancy dots on the club. The good news is you only need one of them and you put it kind of right there on the club face. And we'll do that with a pitching wedge, a seven iron, and driver. Here's what's great. Unicore hooks up with my iPad and it goes on the side of the ball and TrackMan goes behind the ball and hooks up perfectly with my phone so we can see all the data together. Let's do this, everything's ready to go, wedge shot. Clean strike, right at my target. Unicor, 123.8 carry, 133 total. And we have um, on TrackMan, 121.8 carry, so very close. Spin rate, 61.65 Unicor, and 59.26 on TrackMan. Ball speed, port measurement 92.7 on TrackMan and 94.6 Unicore. The display on Unicore is incredible. Absolutely love it, easy to see in the bright sunlight, whereas like your iPad and stuff, um, very difficult. High fade. This is 113 carry, I love that display. 5909 spin, 90 ball speed. Trackman, 90.4 ball speed, spot on the money there. 57 spin, a little difference in the spin, 130. Um, 117 carry to 113. So Trackman's got me 117. Unicore has 113. Cool thing about uh, Unicore works indoor, outdoor. You can hook it up to your PC and run it to your projector, it's phenomenal. Or you can just connect via your iPad, not iPhone currently, iPad. So you need an iPad to run it. Let's jump up to seven irons. Felt really good, clean contact. Unicore, 157 carry, 161 carry, TrackMan, We've got ball speed 115, 115, I mean, it was spot on the money. And club speed is 84 on TrackMan, 88 on Unicore. Okay, I didn't hit it really good. 162 carry on Unicore. And TrackMan's following it all the way, does all the math, 160. And ball speed 118 on Unicore. TrackMan's got me 117. I love that. And then Club Path, zero. Now Club Path is gonna be different because they're not both set up exactly the same. You see that seven iron contact there. Man, I love seeing that to be honest with you. What's cool about the camera is you could see here, the ball's kind of in a different spot every time you set it up. So when you get your, your club on ball, the camera is actually moving with that, like it's readjusting. So it's falling, or it's doing it here in app version, so it's really cool. And you can see your strike going into the divot and seeing how steady do you, you know, if your friends are like, you're shutting the face, you're shutting the face, you're shutting, well here you can actually see, did you shut the face? Because that first, you know, six inches or so is gonna be critical. That toe's turning over too much, it's no good. But this is pretty good, so I made good clean contact there. Sometimes I duck hook balls and I wanna know like, 
Is it my club path or my club face? This will show you exactly what it is. Now let's check out some drivers and see how it picks that up. I'm really curious to see my impact with the driver on that camera. Whew. Try to turn as hard as it could through that. <laughs> Unicorn just immediately gives me numbers. 264 carry, 147 ball speed, and club speed is 105. 266 total on TrackMan, 288 on Unicore. The spin rate, 1758 Unicore, 1933 TrackMan. Okay, so this is one we wanna look at on that camera. Unicore's got me at um, 2300 spin. TrackMan's got me at 2400 spin. 238 carry, I didn't hit it very good. 232 carry on TrackMan. Look at that face. So you talk, remember we talked about face turning over. That ball's coming in to impact. And watch my club face. Right? You can kind of see that toe go down right at the end. We don't want that. Look at that. So I see that. So let's try to correct that. Let's look at that impact. Did I do what we wanted to do? This is something you can really look at. Ooh, we had, look at that. It was good, but you could see that face wiggle a little bit on impact. Look at that. But the face is pretty square impact. You see some ball compression there. That's pretty awesome. I love seeing that. A pretty solid strike right in the middle. You know, the um, smash factor 144, so is great. This is probably the most important thing to me right there is how well do I strike it and control that face through impact? Gives me a great look at it. That, I shut the, look. Yeah, you see, face is shut. Face is shut. You can do putting, you can do a lot more with this. It's got everything you would want. It's not perfectly in sync, but it's within the guidelines and it's the least expensive guy on the market for what it offers. Hope it helps. Love you guys. See you next time.